Time. There's choices you should make quite promptly, or the cost just multiplies. Another fact, it doesn't matter when your actual birthday comes. Your Medicare begins on the first day of your birthday month. What's called original Medicare includes Part A and Part B. If you do nothing, you'll get signed up to both automatically. Medicare Part A covers hospitals, and it is absolutely free. But there's a monthly charge for agreeing to receive Medicare Part B. Oh, I said Part A is free, except the deductible when you use it. Oh, and did I mention that Part B? Yes, you can refuse it. But in the future, if you change your mind and decide you want Part B someday, there's a penalty every month for the rest of your life you'll have to pay. <laughs> created such a rule seems kind of weird a penalty won't the government save money if a person isn't using B part B covers doctor visits labs and tests which can be quite extensive and Medicare is covering 80% which obviously can get expensive if you're like me all this information is disturbing your digestion so I'll take a little pause and ask if there are any questions oh good I don't see any hands. There's nothing I'd know the answers of. Call 1-800-MEDICARE or go to medicare.gov. Medicare, so splendid, is tricky as can be. We ought to get it when our brains have more functionality. So much to figure out, not easy when you're this elderly. And then the disappointment when you it's not free. I really didn't know that it wasn't free. <laughs> Part C is called an Advantage Program, like an HMO, you see. It's instead of original Medicare, but still includes Parts A and B. All your medical care is from one group, and only just those folks. If you go out of network, all your savings will go up in smoke. So for folks like me and Charlie who divide their time between two places, original Medicare's a better choice to cover all the bases. So there's really no advantage to a so-called advantage plan. Part C can therefore be thrown out into the Medicare garbage can. Now moving on to Part D, which concerns your prescription medication. Better sign up right away, or there can be a complication. Because if you want it later, once again, there's that penalty. Like the one I said, if you delay getting signed up for Part B. It's confusing with details that are far too easy to forget. But here's the good news, A, B, C, D, no more Medicare alphabet. But now another choice to make, and there's no way to say this gentle, because next we're into plans known as Medicare Supplemental. <laughs> Oops, I misinformed you, told you wrong, and this I do regret. I forgot with supplementals, there's a bit more to the alphabet. C, D, F, G, K, L, M, N, and indeed, there may be more. But where you live determines which plans you can actually sign up for. Good news, the plans are identical in every Good news, the insurance. Good news, the plans are identical. In every insurance company, the government insures this, which should make for some simplicity. However, insurance companies are not controlled as to price, and they vary a lot, so you have to shop around, which is really not so nice this takes time and effort and will put your life on hold a while but then once you decide I know the, the relief is gonna make you smile 
That is until you see your doctor whom you've seen for years and years you swear and find